This is the Transformers Universe Deluxe Class Ironhide. The figure was released way back in 2008. And I checked my FX Trans videos because before Chefatron, I used to have a channel called FX Trans. I still have it to this day, but I don't upload videos there anymore. And I don't think I reviewed this figure. No, I'm pretty sure I did not review this version of this Ironhide figure. I do remember in 2009, I reviewed the Henke or Takara Tomi version of this figure with all the chrome bits, the dark red. It was a very toy accurate version of the figure in terms of color, but this was the show accurate colors. And I kept this one mint in package, mint on card before I sold it. And I never reviewed it. And one of the reasons was, was back in the day, early, early years of my reviewing, I, I could not bring myself to open up uh, a figure that was mint on card or mint in box that took me forever to find. That was a very difficult figure to find. And I, I can personally say this is one of the rarest and most difficult generations Ironhide uh, to pick up or to find, I guess, rivaled only by the Amazon exclusive Earthrise Ironhide because this figure was packed one per case and I don't think Hasbro repacked this figure. It was weird. It was like, yeah, one per case of eight and a very popular figure not getting enough stocks. It, it was a shame. And I remember back in the day, um, Deluxe class figures were like $14, I think. And this guy was was like being scalped for what, 20 bucks? And back then, that was, that was pretty high back in 2008. And nowadays, nobody cares about this figure anymore simply because everybody wants the Earthrise Ironhide, which we'll do comparisons later. I thought it was a perfect time to do a retro review given the fact that we do have the Earthrise Ironhide. Anyway, it's a cool looking figure, especially back in the day. Let's take a closer look at the details of this Ironhide figure. So the figure comes with one accessory, which you can detach. Uh, and you can fold the fist uh, inward and then you can attach uh, this blaster either this way uh, to form the gun. And then you push the gun barrel and reveal an Energon blade. And it can double as a as a sword or a dagger. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't stick on. Okay, there we go. So yeah, it's a double purpose weapon. So here's the figure. He is a little stocky. I mean, he's a little on the stout side for iron high. He's got this nice little belly, which really forms the rear end of, of the alt mode. Kind of, it looks like the front end of his G1 alt mode, but it's not. Uh, it's, this is the front end, the windshield, and it's going to form here. The figure, you know, aesthetically looks pretty good. Uh, this is a huge backpack, but it doesn't bother me as much. There's not a lot of empty spaces. Everything's been covered up very nicely. Proportion-wise, I thought this was a pretty cool-looking Ironhide. The head does suffer from that drooping syndrome uh which was common for this figure it it doesn't pop up enough to clear the chest so it feels like he's you can't get a good look at the head sculpt uh because simply because the the, the way the neck's been positioned it, it's just it makes his head like look down permanently it, it can't it doesn't go up any further than that so that kind of sucks got this really nice uh, metallic finish on his chest, the Autobot, the Autobot logo, and a license plate that says Oregon. Yeah, that's about it. Articulation for the figure, the shoulders can go in and out, you can go sidewards, you can go rotate 360, forward and backward. It's got an elbow um, hinge. The hands are on ball joints, and you can go in and out. And then the waist, there's a swivel. Hips can go forward and backward, in and out, hinge knees, and some rocker tilts. Actually, this is a ball joint, but it acts like a rocker tilt. You can do forward and backward for the feet. And again, just like Hound, it's well ahead of its time in terms of uh, articulation. For some size comparisons, here is Universe Ironhide with the 
more current recent release of Ironhide. This is the Earthrise Ironhide from the Amazon exclusive two pack with Prowl. Now this is a pretty big deluxe class figure, but back in the day, look how hefty this guy is. You go toe to toe with this guy in a match and wow. Yeah, it's still a pretty good figure. I mean, I, I do prefer this figure, obviously. I think this is the better Ironhide. It looks more like G1, but back in the day, man, <laughs> this was a pretty amazing figure. So transformation. It's been a while since I transformed this guy. Let's see if I still know how to do it. And open this up. Okay, and then the arms. Let me do this first. Okay. Painted windows, you can already see that. Okay. Then fold out that chest. And this is a cool bit, some a little bit of an automorph gimmick right here. As you fold the bumper down, that chest collapses down as well, reveals the rear part of the car, the rear windshield. Okay. And you fold these wheels down like that. Onto the legs, you're gonna fold out these panels right here. Then you're gonna fold the legs inward like this. Feet, you're gonna fold like this. And form the front part of the car. And that, do the same on the other side. And fold that in, fold that in, that. Okay, and this part right here is gonna fold down right here. And then you're gonna unfold the hip piece right here. Just give some room. Okay, this, that. And you're gonna join the backpack with the legs. This. And then the feet are going to tab onto the rear wheel section, the heel spurs, okay. And then finally, the arms, they're going to fold in, and fold like this, and fold in inward like that to complete the side of the car. It feels like it's a puzzle former, not the best transformation for a deluxe class figure. It's a little involved. And something like that. <laughs> you can just fold everything like that. And then the weapon, well, there's a peg hole right there for this peg. And okay, there we go. It's nice and snug in the middle. And there you go. There is Universe Ironhide in his, uh, it looks like an Escalade, a Chevy Escalade with a, uh, a Yukon, is that it? I, I don't exactly know what they were going for with this uh, SUV alt mode. It's not the van that we were all hoping he would be, like the G1 alt mode that he had, but as an earth mode, Ironhide, I thought this was pretty cool. There's a lot of gaps here and there, uh, which is unsightly, especially in alt mode. And again, like I said, it's, it feels like a puzzle former. It kind of sucks, but you know, back in the day, this was pretty good. I mean, for an alt mode. And nowadays, you know, they would have probably had a way to fix that. Now, if you want a comparison, here he is with uh, the Earthrise Ironhide in alt, mode, in alt mode. Obviously, this one is a lot more G1 because of this van alt mode, except for this rear part right here. But uh, yeah, it's a, this could be Ironhide. Yeah, it's some universe or some variant of Ironhide. It does work. 
So final thoughts on this Transformers Universe Deluxe Class Ironhide. It's a pretty solid figure. It has its flaws. Back in the day, it was the only Ironhide, Earth Mode Ironhide we had. And we may do with, with this figure. It was pretty good uh, back in the day during its time. It had a lot of um, really interesting uh, features that made the figure well ahead of its time. Rocker joints, it's got a lot of articulation. Uh, it's a very solid robot mode and alt mode. It's just a shame the transformation transformation for the figure was a little bit of a puzzle former. There's a lot of gaps in the alt mode. It's not completely an earth mode, uh, G1 earth mode vehicle uh, that, that we were expecting it to be. But all in all, it's still a very solid figure and I think it deserves an eight out of 10. I mean, if, I mean, back then we didn't have a Van Ironhide this was the generation's Ironhide during its time. Nowadays, people are just trying to get either the Siege or the Earthrise Ironhide. That's all well and good, but uh, this is not a bad figure to have in your collection. Let me know what you guys think of this Transformers Universe Deluxe Class Ironhide. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.